Hello fellow modelers, in today's video let's make a Proxon low RPM controller. The Proxon is a handy and versatile tool, but it's quite strong for plastic. The minimal RPM is 5000, so it easily melts the plastic only with the heat from friction. As you can see the thin down plastic for flaps installation could be a difficult task and drill small holes is also a nightmare. Therefore I use often low RPM controller. How to make it? It is easy and cheap. You need for this project. DC adapter with 12 volts and 2 amperes. And then controller port with a pulse wide modulation. It costs roughly $2. You can find it on eBay, AliExpress or some other shops. I have used this simplified connection for many years. I attach the port to Proxon adapter and added power connector. Then I just reconnected the Proxon to the controller. As you can see the speed limitation is quite significant. Its range is from 100 to 3000 RPM. And if you need more you can easily reconnect the drill to the original Proxon power supply. Now it's much easier and safer to thin down plastic to minimum thickness without danger of melting it. This connection is not elegant and sometimes the connector falls away. Therefore I designed a cover box and made the connection more reliable. You can print it if you have a 3D printer. The files are available for free on my Patreon or Cult 3D. The board size is 50 to 50 mm and I am attaching it with a small M2 6 mm screws. The regulator is quite fragile and I reinforce it with a hold melt glue gun on my old design. However, you do not need to if you use the box and fix the position with a nut. It is handy to buy Proxon Micromod extension cable. It is the most expensive part of this project because it cost $7. Cut the cable and remove the isolation. I drew the correct connection on the box, so you cannot make it wrong. The Proxon Micromod goes to the output. The black cable with a brown line is plus and the whole black is minus. Now it remains to fix the wires with a screwdriver. I already mentioned that you need 12 volts and 2 ampere DC adapter. You can use more amps without problem, but 2 would suffice. These types of adapters are the most common after USB chargers, but if you don't have some spare ones, you can buy them cheaply. Again, I remove the isolation and attach the wires to control board, this time on input. Oh, I have a bad luck. This new board has some dysfunction issues. It could be wrong capacitor or pulse wide modulation module. This board is not the best quality, so some are defective. Therefore, I recommend buying at least two as a backup. The second board works fine. I just want to mention that the controller on the Proxon does not work with the new controller and you must regulate speed on the box. However, you can still use it as a switch. The board has LED as a power indicator. You can use the spare clear plastic sprue and extend the light out of the box. Now it remains to cover box with the screws, connect the drill and have a fun with a plastic grinding or micro drilling. Okay, thank you for watching, to my patrons for support and see you next time.